three now. So three years, three plants, and by next year it'll be six plants. And if you can see that area there is getting too small for them. So I really need to transplant this. So I'm going to be transplanting my lithops. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. We're going to remove all these lithops now and we're going to get to see exactly the soil I use for these ones. Pick them out. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, this is my soil mix. I'm not advertising the brand name, it's Yates. So, um, that's the um, specialty potting mix for cacti and succulents. That's what we're going to be using and also scoria. So I'm going to be using some scoria. This is available from your hardware store so it's readily available. This is what I'm using. So it's a combination of the cacti and succulent soil mix which is a very sandy mix. So now I'm just going to proceed and remove all of this. That way, I'm trying to not disturb the roots as much as possible. Uh, it's summer here right now in Australia. And this is our, the growing season. So I'm just going to slowly ease around. This pot is just way, way, way too small for them. The center is okay, but the outside, they really need to be taken out. And while I'm at it, I might as well take the whole lot out. So this is a very... Uh, sandy, gritty mix. Okay, so I'm trying to not ruin the roots. I don't like disturbing the roots as much as possible. I mean, I could remove all the roots and they would still grow, but it's just there you go. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Hang on, I'm covering them. Doesn't matter. There you go. There. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? So you can see from last year's. Uh, shell or exo shell on the outside there and then that's a new one now this year so there you go so I got one lithops two lithops three four five and look at this one so this one you can see that it came from one plant see so I could also divide this and split them up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it because I really, really want them to grow. But then if you traumatize them, see, look at that, not beautiful. So they're just going to keep multiplying. So I'm best just leaving them like that. And then I'm going to, they're going to multiply again and multiply if they have the room. There you go. Oh, beautiful. See, I've got all the roots intact oh beautiful isn't it gorgeous let's go proceed and pot this up now i'm just gonna use up this soil as well and they don't need much fertilizer they will get the fertilizer from whatever's in the soil already so i suggest don't fertilize it i would prefer to use the same soil that i've taken them from but for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you how I mix up my soil to simplify it because a lot of you can't get the granite and so I'm going to use the cacti and succulent mix this is a very gritty mix okay we'll just open it up so you can see so it's already got a lot of sand in it okay dogs there you go and also okay I'm just gonna put this here okay it also contains a lot of bark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sieve this and then we're going to add on our other bits and pieces. So okay, so I got my gold pan. You don't have to use a gold pan. This is the only thing I've got available and also my sieve. This is for my forsaking sieve. But if you haven't got this, you can also use trays. So it'll be the same. So the whole size or the size of the hole will basically be the same. So we just want to get rid of most of the big 
bits of bark. Okay, so I'm gonna get say one. Okay, so one part of that. There you go. So we just get rid some of the bark, the bigger pieces of the bark, because I don't really like that. There you go there. I'm gonna add. One part score, yeah? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add that one. There you go. We mix it all up, okay? So that would be a good uh, soil for the lithops as well, but there's something missing in it. So I'm gonna add some more sand. So we had one of that potting mix and my cacti and succulent potting mix and then another part, one part of scoria. Now I'm gonna add some sand, only half, okay, and we'll see what it looks like. So it's basically the look of the mix, that's what I'm going for. So now I can see that that is looking more like my mix here. So that's very similar to it now, except this one, I've got more um, granite on this one. So I use a lot of granite on this one. Also, I've also crushed my scoria. So for the big pieces, because the scoria is quite big. So what I like to do with this one now, just so we can mimic what I've got. So I've got my wooden mortar and pistol. <laughs> I'm going to sieve this again, just so we can get rid of the uh, coarser score, yeah? Okay. So the bigger pieces, we're going to put it into my little mortar and pistol, and we're going to pound it. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of the powdery stuff now. Okay, so that's good enough. We'll throw it into the mix. And there you go. Okay, so that's a beautiful lithops soil. For my standard lithops mix, I use, say, half a cup of sand, one cup for one part of scoria, so I'll sieve that. And the bigger part, or the bigger pieces, I'm just going to crush it a little bit. Many minutes later, that's good enough. Add it to the mix. And I'll add... One cup of my advanced mix, or one part of it. And we just mix it all up. And basically, this is the mix I just mixed up and this is the mix that I've taken from my lithops. So you have the option to mix it with my soil mix <laughs> or you can do the commercially uh, the commercial mixture that I've just done. And if we compare the two, so this is my own mix 
and this is the commercial mix okay so if you ha you can't get hold of granite this will also do this one on the left so this mixture will be good enough it's almost identical anyway so apart from this is more barkier and to show you that it is okay I am going to mix the the ones that I've just mixed up and also my own my lazy version and the commercial version there you go so we mix it all up because I'm gonna be needing that for a lipid there you go isn't that beautiful so that is beautiful and that's all they need no fertilizers no nothing 